geoengineering. Geoengineering is this attempt. Instead of stopping human beings from, let's assume climate change is happening and we need to do something about it, it's this idea of instead of uh, depending on shutting industry down, closing everything down, constraining everything, blocking everything, instead, what we will do is we'll do some, we'll create some kind of effect in the atmosphere that will actually cool the temperatures. So we will, uh, you know, instead of um, uh, shutting down uh, carbon, instead of the shutting down carbon emission, we will actually uh, not have any carbon limits, but we will do something to cool the atmosphere. And there were a lot of companies trying different things, uh, universities experimenting with different things. I talked about this on a previous show. I think we went through three different mechanisms that are being studied out there and are being tried. And, um, it, you know, it, 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 it's quite promising. Uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's the scientist playing God. I love it. I love scientists who play God. Uh, I'm sure they do a better job than God himself. And uh, it, it's a way that's pro-life, pro, uh, pro-life, pro-progress, pro-economic growth, uh, and while, and, and so recognizes that, yeah, I mean, global warming can have disruptive effects that maybe we want to mitigate, right? Well, um, there's a lot of criticism of this from, I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't get this, uh, from the environmentalist uh, movement. Um, they don't want, they don't want uh, anything like this. They, 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 they don't want to actually reduce the dangers of climate change. Because what they really want, what they always have really wanted, which really motivated their movement all along, was deindustrialization, lower standard of living, lower quality of life, lower production, fewer CO2 emissions, just less human beings and, and less impact, impact, less so-called impact on the environment. That's what they really want. Climate change is just the most convenient excuse to shut down production, to shut down growth, to make us poorer. So, um, you know, the, the, one of the projects was at Harvard and the critics of geoengineering uh, basically have argued that even studying the possibility of solar geoengineering eases the societal pressure to cut greenhouse gas emissions. They also fear that such research could create a slippery slope that increases the odd that nations or rogue actors will one day deploy it despite the possibility of dangerous side effects, including decreased precipitation and agricultural output in parts of the world. So they don't want to use this. I mean, they don't want to use this because because it might lead to societal pressure, less societal pressure, less societal pressure to cut greenhouse gases. But why do we care about greenhouse gases? Because it warms the planet. Well, if we can cool the planet to offset that, why do we care? What they really care about, again, is to stop the life processes that lead to the emission of CO2. Anyway, their campaign and their efforts were fruitful, and it's official now that Harvard's geoengineering experiment has been canceled. So it's not happening, which is tragic, sad, horrible for all of us and also for the scientists who've devoted significant effort and energy towards this. And again, it shows the power of the nihilistic environmentalist movement. I mean, it's just pure nihilism. The, the, the hatred is the hatred of man, the hatred is the hatred of progress, the hatred is the hatred of, of, of achievement, of success. It really is, really is horrible.